Welcome back everyone, this is Dr. Gonstein, and here we are again with an RStudio demo for lecture number 13. In lecture 13, we introduced panel data, and we talked about how great it is to have panel data, because panel data allows us to control for time invariant unobservables and observables. And so uh, in this demo, I'm just going to show you in R how to implement the panel data models that we talked about in class. So I'll show you how to implement the fixed effects model and the first difference model. So let's jump right in. So first, we've got to install a new package. Uh, this package has the commands for performing uh, fixed effects models. I already have it, so I won't run that. And then, of course, we've got to tell R what libraries we want to use and import the data. So this first data set, this is the wage FE data set. I'm just calling it wages. Take a quick look at it, just to remind ourselves what panel data looks like. Uh, so when we have panel data, we have multiple observations for each person. So for person one, we observe them in year zero, which in this data set is 2015, and in year one, which in this data set is 2017. So we have multiple observations for the same person across different time periods, or in this case, two time periods. Now that difference across time allows us to control for those time invariant observables and unobservables, which is, a real, which is the real strength of having panel data. And the way that we do that in practice is we implement either a fixed effects model or a first difference model. The first one I'll show you is the fixed effects model. So what we'll do here is we'll do an individual fixed effects model. What I mean by that is we will control for all of the factors that are time invariant within a person okay so and so by that we're going to do an individual fixed effects model we're going to have the fixed effect at the individual level now the way that we do that in practice is uh, fairly typical except we use a slightly different command instead of the lm command we use the plm command basically panel linear model all right i'm just going to call it mfe so m for fixed effect and then we just put the model in so what I'll do here is uh, I'll have the dependent variable wage and then a number of independent variables. I have year, education, etc. So uh, I have all of my independent variables here. And then comma, I have to tell R what variable will be used for the fixed effect. So because this is an individual fixed effects model, um, I'm, I'm, I'm indicating to R uh, to use the ID variable as the index or use the ID variable uh, to create the individual fixed effect. So we just have to note that here. Okay, and then comma, uh, provide the data set. And then finally, we have to, we have to indicate what model we want it to use. Um, not, don't need to go into the detail here, but basically we just type in model equals within. And within is just kind of another way of saying that we want an individual fixed effects model. Um, what that within tells R to do is it tells, a, tells it to demean all of the variables um, as we talked about in class. So, uh, so there's the model, and then we'll just do summary uh, with robust standard errors to report the results. And so here we go. We have our coefficient estimates for the variables in our model. Now, one thing that you'll notice here is that uh, a number of the independent variables in our model are not included in the output. And the reason is because they're not, uh, they are time invariant. They do not vary over time. So for example, IQ in this data set over a two-year period, IQ is probably not going to change. Uh, and so within that time period, IQ is a, an individual time invariant observable. And so it drops out of the model because the individual fixed effect accounts for all the individual factors that do not change over time. So, so the model's only going to report coefficients for these variables. Okay, so that's an individual fixed effects model. Uh, let's do the first difference model. So for that one, I'm just going just to import another data set, wage FD. Um, we'll see here that this wage FD uh, data set is organized differently. There is now only one row for each individual. Um, other th as opposed to having two rows for each individual. This data is what we call wide. The other data set we were looking at is long, where there's multiple observations for each individual, and there's only one variable for each um, piece of information we want. 
Uh, wide data has only one row for each individual, but multiple columns for each variable. So you'll see in the wide data that for the wage information, for their wages, we have one variable for wages in 2015 and another variable for wages in 2017. Sometimes it's nice to have data in wide format. Other times it's nice to have it in long format. I just have two pre-made data sets that have them in the two different formats. Um, in class, we can talk about how do you can convert data from one format to another, but I'm not going to do that in the lecture. Okay, so to perform a first difference model, what we need to do is we need to create uh, variables that are the difference between the two different time periods. Uh, we only need to create these for variables that do change over time. So I'm just going to use the variables that you know we, we had from the fixed effects model. So um, as the dependent variable, it'll be the change in wages. So it's just wage in 2017 minus wage 2015. Um, and then I'll take the difference for education over time, experience over time, and network over time. You take a careful look at those codes to make sure you can replicate that. So you create those variables, and then I just I just use LM, the LM command, so just simple OLS linear regression model, um, where I regress the change in wages onto the change in education, the change in experience, and the change in network. Just run that, report robust uh, results here, uh, and there are, there are our results. And then finally, I'll use Stargazer to just get a nice clean presentation of it. So you can see the panel fixed effects model and then the first difference model. Okay, great. I hope you enjoyed the lecture, and I'll see you next time.